We're at AdvaMed, the MedTech Conference 2012 here in Boston. I am with Dr. Harold Kelsnar from Sony DADC, a private company. Doctor, welcome to SNN Live. Shelley, thank you for having me. Now, it's good to have you, and especially in light of the fact that we're going to get the story on Sony DADC. We're at AdvaMed, so you've got clients here. Tell us exactly what Sony DADC does. Uh, well, Sony DDC is a large company with about two billion US dollars revenue, the leader in Blu-ray disc, very strong company in DVD and CD, who has now moved into the biomedical space by providing what we call smart, smart polymer consumables to innovative and established companies in the life sciences space. Well, first of all, I think it's brilliant for Sony to diversify. And I think it's also brilliant to diversify into this industry, which is going towards plastics, correct? Absolutely, and uh, we have already realized a couple of pro projects where we replace other materials like glass or silicone in established consumables by plastics. And also I'd like to mention PDMS, and by that enabling much more reliable products at a better cost, which really drive larger application and larger volumes. So, in this industry, how do you work with other companies? Well, we work as an OEM supplier with uh, companies in life sciences, IVD and medical devices. Uh, typically, collaboration starts by signing a non-disclosure agreement. Um, in this non-disclosure agreement, we exchange specifications and come up with a feasibility technically and financially and then move into joint development. Joint development agreement is in place typically and this after development has been finalized is followed by supply. So you actually get to work with some of the best innovators, developers, creative people, patent filers and all of these wonderful companies coming up with new technologies, right? Absolutely, and this is what is so fascinating about this work. And uh, we have a couple of clients here in Boston and around. I'd like to mention Quanterix Diagnostics, Rain Dance Technologies, and others which I am not entitled to talk about yet, because as I said before, most of what we do is under NDA. Um, but we see ourselves really as an enabler uh, to drive innovation, help innovation to come out on the consumable side, to come out to the market. And the combination of Sony and their technology and their ability to manufacture, have they a plan dedicated to this collaborative effort of design and manufacturing? Yes, absolutely. Our engineering workforce and also manufacturing is based in Austria, in, to be precise, in Salzburg, the sound of music city. Um, this is where we do all the development and we do all the production, but the whole initiative is intended to be a global initiative. You have to know we are running 15 plants globally in the US, in Asia, China, Japan and other countries. So when volumes in a certain continent pick up, we intend to manufacture locally. So let me see if I got this straight. You've got one of the largest Japanese companies using German technology in Austria with that fine precision manufacturing capability and servicing companies that are developing products throughout the world basically. Absolutely, yes. Our current customer base is mainly in the US, in Europe, uh, to starting to be based in Japan as well. Um, and at the end of the day it, it appears that manufacturing location doesn't really matter especially if you speak about larger volumes, a high degree of automation is used anyway. And to a certain extent, these are small parts, so, right? Right, right, absolutely. So logistics cost isn't that much of an issue either. Brilliant. So manufacturing of the parts doesn't necessarily mean that the manufacturing of the parts is going to be done in the same place where they do assembly. So therefore, on top of that, logistics certainly do not matter. Yes, correct. Uh, at the end of the day, logistics do not matter. However, we understand that for large volumes, for example, for the US market, there might be a need for, from a client base, especially speaking about larger diagnostic companies, to have a local manufacturing. Also thinking about a two, um, uh, two location manufacturing from a risk mitigation perspective. 
So from this perspective, we would uh, really think of manufacturing at a later stage in the U.S. as well. Okay. Now, for our people and our viewers, investors, whoever's watching, give us an example of a product that you're now currently making and or any product you're going to be manufacturing. Well, we are currently manufacturing the microfluidic chips for Raindance Technologies. I mentioned the company before. Raindance is a leader in droplet-based microfluidics for selective enrichment of target sequences. Uh, high precision is uh, of key importance in those kind of products. Uh, and already uh, Raindance has launched its third platform, Raindrop, uh, on top of ex established and already on the market uh, platforms like Heatwave and Thunderstorm. And for all of those platforms, the consumables have been jointly developed and we are supplying them to Raindance Technologies. That's fantastic. Saves them an enormous cost. <laughs> so what's your background? Well, my personal background is biochemistry. I studied biochemistry in Vienna, Austria, and then joined Sony 20 years ago, had a couple of roles. Uh, for 10 years, managed a business about recordable media, CDR, mini disc, DVD-R, and five years ago, uh, actually established this business uh, for Sony DDC. Now, you ready for the toughest question of all? What's your website? Well, our web website is www.biosciences. .sonydadc.com Ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting to hear Sony. You know your Blu-rays that you watch at home? Now we've, we're into medical biotech, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is Dr. Harold Kelsner from Sony DADC. It's a private company. We are at Advamed, the MedTech Conference 2012 in Boston. I'm Shelley Kraft, and I want to thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you. You're quite welcome.